Cat people, how are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone, and today we are doing this Valentine makeup. I don't know who of you are already following me on Instagram, but there I have done a little spoiler. So I have received this palette right here as a PR from Brand Beauty. Brand Beauty is an indie brand. They started very, very recently. They are cruelty free and vegan. And let me tell you people, I'm dying to dive into these colors. And especially I want to use the pinks and the reds. So that's why I decided to do a Valentine's look, but I'm going to do it in my way. So I'm going to do it darker and I'm not going to include only hearts on my face. If you want to see more details, let's start. Before I start, I want to do the most satisfying thing with you and basically I will remove the plastic from the mirror now let's do it together people oh. as always I have primed my eyes with primer potion from Urban Decay and actually this is the first time that I'm using this palette the palette Stay Wild so this is gonna be a review video as well not only the makeup I'm gonna tell you my opinion how the shades are performing on the eye because I have done only swatches and you know I don't really trust swatches because sometimes they make the shadow look better and sometimes they make the shadow look worse so I'm thinking that the actual test is only on the eyes so with a fluffy brush like this one right here I'm gonna take the lightest shade, which is called Girly, the pink, that bubble pink, and I will create a base for my eyes. Wow, this shadow was pigmented. Although that you see it and you might say, oh, that's a gentle pastel pink color. No, the color is here, it's doing like bam, it's performing, it's great. So next, I'm gonna use this one right here. This is called Pinky Promise and I'm very, very curious to see how it performs. Do I need to say anything? I mean, Pinky Promise is here and it's performing amazingly. And to me, it's extra impressive because they are using a vegan formula and we all know how difficult it is to create, you know, red-based colors and uh, make them perform well with a vegan formula like it's really hard and they have nailed it i'm very happy and i'm very curious about the red as well the ocd so here i'm gonna apply this to my eye and i will hope to blend as good as pinky promise with the girly because they were blending awesomely i didn't even try like they're blending by themselves i'm really impressed So this is the result after the blending and now I'm about to use metallic so I'm gonna go with this one right here this is called Glam AF and I'm planning to apply it only at the middle just to make this look pop a little bit more I will help it with some glitter glue it might not need it but I like to use glue to make sure that I will help it as much as possible to have their full you know glittery effect and everything so i have applied an amount on my hand and with my brush i'm gonna take it and apply it only at the middle part of my eye i used this pencil for my waterline and this is from wycon the 07 lilac and now I'm gonna go again with the shimmery shadow, the Glam AF, and I'm gonna put a little bit here at the bottom part of my eye. What do you think about the eye look? Isn't it awesome? I feel so pretty with these shadows. I really, really loved the palette. I'm very, very happy with the quality, the blending, the pigmentation. I feel that's a very, very good palette. And uh, let me tell you something. I really enjoyed that they hadn't include any nude here. So basically, it's super colorful. And this makes me so happy every time that I see it. 
Anyway, now I'm gonna draw some things on my eye. First of all, I'm thinking to do a pricked design and for this I'm gonna use my Epic Ink, oh, sorry. <laughs> Epic Ink Eyeliner from NYX Professional Makeup. This is the normal one uh, as a product, but you see the golden packaging because this is from Casa de Papel Limited Edition. But basically as product is the same and now let's start doing eyeliner. What's your opinion about my pricked eyeliner? Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? I'm not sure if I have finished with my eyeliner, but if I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna go, you know, a little bit more crazy. I'm gonna go outside the brow area, so I need to fix my face before I decide if I want to continue or not. That's why I have applied this primer right here. This is from NYX Professional Makeup, the Marshmallow Primer. Very good primer and it smells amazingly. I'm in love with this primer. And then here on my hand, I have a combination of two foundations. This is the Lumen Oil Control and this is from Aiden High Definition Foundation. I don't know, this is not mattifying, this is mattifying, so we are fine. And also I forgot to mention that under my eye area I have applied this one corrector right here. This is from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Fair number one. And I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna apply the foundation. With the blush, I'm gonna go a little bit extra today. I'm gonna use this one right here. This is Series U from Colourpop, Tick 2. And actually I'm planning to bring it a little bit more in front in order to make my face look more cute. Because that's where, what we are doing today. This is a cute Valentine's look, but with some dark elements, like my nails. Have you seen my new nails? They are amazing. I'm gonna show you my other hand. Yeah, so the nails are matching perfectly with the makeup. So, I'm applying the brush now. As you saw, in order to set the blush, I used two shades from this palette. I mixed Girly and Pinky Promise together in order to make sure that I have a more intense and set it result. Now I'm gonna do my highlighter and for this I'm gonna use two products. I'm sure that you have already seen them. First of all, I'm gonna use the Beauty Light Wand. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. And then on the top, I'm gonna go with the Parade. This is a very, very nice highlighter from Beauty Bay and basically I'm gonna go with all the shades. So let's start with this one. I'm gonna add a tiny amount of bronzer. I'm gonna use this one right here. This is from Sunkiss, The Living the Dream. So I'm taking a quite big brush in order to make sure that I will take as little as possible because I don't want to take a lot and turn this look into a sexy bronze and stuff like that. No, 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 we're not going for that today. I'm gonna finish my face using this powder right here. This is from Cosas, the Breezy Cloud Set. But stay tuned because I haven't finished yet. The fun part is yet to come. Now I'm gonna take my eyeliner and I will add some very nice and cute details. So for example, I'm thinking to do a pricked heart and maybe some extra lines here. We will see, I'm not sure yet. I'm only sure about the heart. So I'm gonna start with the heart and then we will see together. Let me explain you what I have done. So first of all, I finished with my heart and I make the prick design. And then I did all the lines that I have around my eyes using the Epic Ink Eyeliner. As always, you have seen this product. 
After that, I filled in with some stars and I used this um, stamp. Yeah, that's the name. Cutie Mark from Colourpop. And if you want to know, it's making these stars. It's so cute. Like, the cutie name fits perfectly. For the moons, I used this stamp right here. It's called Tattoo Stamp and it's from Milk Makeup. It's just creating little moons like this one. And then again with the eyeliner, I did the dots. After I finished with everything, I fixed my eyebrows and I think that that's all I've done. Yeah, I haven't done anything more. Now it's time for the Greek word of the day. As you can obviously imagine, today I'm gonna tell you about Valentine. In Greek, we actually say Saint Valentine, so we say Agios Valentinos. Say it with me. Agios Valentinos. Agios Valentinos. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the Agios Valentinos thing and also try to say it in your own native language. It's gonna be very, very cool. I'm gonna finish this makeup by doing my lips and for today I have decided using a combo like lip pencil and then liquid lipstick. For lip pencil, I'm gonna use this one from Wicon. It's the 27 Violet Pink. It's a very nice pink and on the top of that, I'm gonna use the sweet cream matte from Jordana. I think that Jordana is not longer a thing. I think that they shut it out the company but I'm not sure about it, don't quote me. But last time I searched I couldn't find them and that's unfortunate because this series is a great series so that makes me a little bit sad. But anyway, let's focus on the lips and let's use the combo! Do you think that I finished with my lips? No, 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 no. So I have a twist here for you. I'm gonna use the palette again. I'm gonna take this shadow, Glam AF, and I'm gonna give some highlight because I wanna match the lips with the eyes. And this is an amazing metallic shadow. Basically, it's a purple one with blue shift and I love it. It's very good. And as a last step, I'm gonna use some lip gloss. This is from a Greek indie brand. This is called Glossy. And uh, I think this shade is called Hell. It's a very nice, not clear, but not that red that you see here. You will understand when you see it on my lips. So before I end this video, a final review for the palette. This palette is amazing. Uh, whatever I tried, this, 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 and this, are super pigmented, they are very very easily blendable, I'm sorry for the noise, it's just my cat <laughs> being a little bit crazy, sorry for that. And if you actually want to buy anything from the brand Bragg Beauty, I have a code, it's gonna be CATLADY15 for 15% discount, it's gonna be around here, you know. So yeah, to me this palette Pal palette? No. <laughs> palette. This palette is amazing. I think it's their first palette, their first try, and they, this is so good. I hope that they will come out with more palettes like that, and uh, I hope that I have the chance to get them as well, because I'm super happy. And that was it for today. I hope that you enjoy the makeup. I hope that I gave you some ideas for a Valentine's look. Actually, more looks are coming because of course I'm not gonna do only one look for this year. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Also, I have an Instagram account as well. My Instagram is catladyandigoni down here. There I'm uploading some stuff that I cannot really upload here on YouTube like Q&A's, unboxing and other cool stuff. Of course you will find pictures from this makeup if you wanna zoom, if you wanna focus on something there, so don't forget to follow me. Again, thank you so so much for being here with me today and till next time, bye bye!